All right, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I'm here today for a very important news video and tutorial regarding the patcher and mods for Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 post the DLC Pack 9 or Ultra Pack 1 patch. So, finally, after um, about a week, almost two weeks now, Eternity, the homie, has finally come through and updated everything. I want to say a big shout out to him for always. Uh, you know getting this updated for us to be able to use mods in the first place without him and his patcher We wouldn't be able to do any of this so give him a big thanks and um, I'll link his patreon over there as well down below uh, as you can see uh, It says that you can support you know the development at patreon and everything So that'll be over there if you guys want to you know check all that out But um, this video is mainly for people who already have mods installed and they're trying to update it and get everything working again um, I generally do these every single time a new update goes through, especially if it's a major one. Now, I didn't do one for DLC Pack 8 because it wasn't anything too major at the time. Uh, you know, it was a very simple and easy process. This one might be a little bit different just because there's a lot of added stuff that was, you know, just put into the game. But we'll see what happens. Um, this is going to be my first hand attempt at trying to get all this working. So just bear with me here. I'm going to explain everything step by step uh, as simple as I can. So there are going to be two links that you want to follow here. There's one right here, which is called the XV2 Mods Installer. And then you want to get the patcher. So you want both of these. So uh, you're going to click on both of these. So you click here and then it's going to open up these links right here so for the patcher it's going to open up this link so make sure that you're downloading xv2 patcher 3.2 zip okay so you're going to download that i already have it downloaded uh you know just to you know speed things up a little bit and then uh this link right here is actually going to take you if you click on the installer it'll take you to this thread which you can download the installer as well so you want to get the new installer so once you get that downloaded these are the two programs that you want so the xv2 patcher 3.2 and the new xv2 ins installer zip okay so once you got those downloaded uh, I actually, like I said, for reference and everything, I already have everything downloaded. So basically what you want to do is you want to extract both files into whatever folder, just like a separate folder. It doesn't matter what folder it's in. You could do it on your desktop. Just for now, uh, we're going to be doing all this just in terms of the actual like patcher and installer and everything. So first and foremost, uh, I don't think it really matters uh, which way or which order you install it in i generally just do whatever so you can do the installer first or you could do the patcher first right here i'm going to do the patcher and show you guys exactly what to do it's very easy so the first thing that you want to do is click on the patcher link and then you want to copy this right here so we're going to go ahead and copy and we're going to take it over to your uh directory your xenoverse 2 directory that's in your steam apps and your steam uh, sort of directory and everything so you guys are probably familiar with this already So what you're gonna do is go into the xv2 patcher and as you can see you're probably gonna have a previous one So you just want to right click paste copy and replace boom easy now You want to go into e patches and then you want to click and drag or you know shift select everything in this right here so then you want to copy that and then go into your e patches and then if you want to you can delete all this or you could replace it i'm just going to go ahead and paste so whatever is going to be you know pasted on there so you just want to do it for everything copy and replace boom so this is everything that it does replace shout out to the zeno silencer that thing is goat um <laughs> but um yes in all seriousness that's all you really need to do for that so pretty easy there so now you want to go back and it's good to kind of go back and match up with everything so that you know everything's in order Next thing that you want to do is the bin. So we're going to go into the bin folder. We're going to copy the X input uh, one underscore three dot DLL. So you're going to copy that and then you want to paste that right here. So let's copy and replace that. Perfect. Let's go back again. And then um, if you want to install all these, you know, extra like extension stuff, you can do it. I'm going to go ahead and do it just for the purpose of this video. So you just go into your data folder and you want to go into the UI folder, UI folder, go into the Iggy folder, Iggy folder, and the pop-up pause Iggy. You want to copy that and paste. Generally, I don't think this changes all that much, but it's nice to just put it in there just in case, you know, you could use that for something maybe in the future. But I usually try to install everything that is uh, given, even though that is optional. Um, that is just like the best thing in my opinion. Now, this folder right here, don't worry about it unless you're having some issues. Um, if you do have issues, go ahead and install that in um, 
I think it's this folder right here, the bin folder. I think you're supposed to install it in here if you're having issues, but generally you shouldn't. So don't worry about that one. Mainly just the bin and the XV2 patcher are the two folders that you want to focus on and copy and replace those in your um, other folders. So uh, right here, as you can see, I have the mods installer. So this for now, you don't really need. I'm just going to minimize that just so that people don't get super confused. But now we're going to go into the installer folder. And as you can see, we have a lot of files, a lot of files. So the change log and everything, uh, don't worry about that. If you do want to see what's been changed, lots of stuff to make sure that you're on, you know, the correct version. So this right here is 3.2. So we're just kind of ensuring that we are on 3.2. So you want to copy all these little applications. These are very important. These are pretty much what you're going to be using to install everything. So as you can see, I have those and I have a bunch of them. Uh, this folder right here, the XV2 Mods Installer, I've been getting questions a lot about this. Just make your own folder. You can title it XV2 Mods Installer. It's fine. Don't worry about it. This is just a separate folder. You don't, this isn't, you know, part of the directory or anything. It's just a separate folder to organize it for myself. So you can make it yourself. You can put it on your desktop. It doesn't matter where you put it. It's just fine. Just make sure that you're copying all of these files and you're pasting them in here and replacing uh you know all the files that you previously had initially or not so as you can see i copied all of them they're all in there perfect so now you want to go into the internal and we're going to go ahead and uh don't worry about the readme go to the Kara select Kara select go ahead and copy the iggy functions paste that in there copy replace go into this one right here this one right here and you want to copy everything so just it's a real simple process of just copy and paste so you just match it up where it's at and then you just you know copy and replace everything very straightforward and easy uh we're gonna do the same thing for the action script as well so um you just want to make sure that you have everything matched up i can't stress that enough because people don't follow the directions and they try to do some other weird method of installing everything and then it screws it up and they're like oh i don't know what happened and it's like okay well you gotta you know follow everything and match everything up as perfect as you can with it and I mean it's not even hard it's not even a hard thing to do so once you got all that done you should be good to go those are the two main folders everything's good there so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're just gonna minimize both of those just for now and uh, I want to actually test if this does work so we're gonna go ahead and open up uh, actually let's go back into the installer and we're gonna go into uh, XV2 INS and I wanna just run that and see if everything's working pretty good. Cause sometimes it does uh, require you to delete a couple of files. So it looks like you have game data from an old update. The installer cannot work with these files. I will send you now to the clear installation tool. So yes, uh, this will be the case. You'll probably have to see this uh, depending on what files you had installed. I have a bunch of files installed on XV2 um, INS. So I'm gonna go ahead and just Click yes. Um, basically, don't have the game running when this happens. So you want to say yes to this only because, um, you, like I said, usually with these updates, if it's like a really big update, uh, files don't match and they screw things up. So just say yes to it and delete everything. Um, don't worry about it. You can always reinstall your mods again. Uh, in my opinion, this is so worth it. And you get to have a clean slate. It cleans up everything. You can remove all that from, um, you know, your your history or whatever and you'll be good to go so i'm gonna wait until all of that deletes it does take a little bit of time so just be patient with it and um, once it all deletes i'm gonna go ahead and try it out in game with a mod to see if it does work and if it does work excellent if it doesn't i'll tell you another step but regardless uh this extra step that i will say is you want to verify your game cache integrity from within steam and validate some of the missing files or whatever so they can you know reacquire them so that is another thing that some people do have issues with as well so i'm gonna wait until this is done this might take some time so i'll see you guys back whenever we got everything you know recycled all right my friends so we have everything pretty much ready to go everything's recycled so uh one other thing that a lot of people do have issues with is when they're opening up the game remember don't open up within the actual steam files you want to go ahead and go into that bin folder again so DB Xenoverse 2, and what you're gonna do is go into the bin folder, and you wanna open up this file. This is the file that you need to open up, because if you don't, then it's probably gonna give you an error. So go ahead and open it. If you wanna run it as an administrator, that's fine by me. Whatever works out for you, uh, let it load mm -hmm. up, and it should be able to open properly. If it doesn't, you wanna verify that game cache integrity, okay? I cannot stress that enough. I'll show you exactly what I mean by that at the end of the video. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and go into this whatever GeForce Experience game overlay, blah, blah, blah. All right, start it up. Come on, let me see the actual gameplay. 
All right, so let's go ahead and skip through all this. And um, I installed just like one mod, nothing too major, just like a Kale Berserk mod by Gamer Chief. So as you can see right there, version 1.13.00, Patcher 3.2. That's exactly what I like to see. Because if I'm not seeing that, then we got a big problem. And make sure that you guys are offline whenever you are installing these mods. And if you're going to be playing with these mods, make sure you're offline. Because if you're not offline, then you're going to have a big problem. All right? That's all I'm going to say. Don't come crying to me if you get banned or if there's glitches or the game gets screwed up. Because I told y'all to always play mods offline. That is the main uh, you know, summary and gist of how it should go with mods um for xenoverse 2 especially on like you know the pc version like you always want to stay offline to those people that are always asking about the ps4 and xbox and all that guys no 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 mods <laughs> i'm sorry to tell you but there ain't gonna be no mods on that so i'm gonna go ahead and run over to the photo mode just real quick just to see um, you know, if everything's working real quick, I just want to see that Kale Berserk. Once I see that and she's fully functional, then I'll be good to go. I'm not going to worry about, you know, doing anything else. And what do you know? Kale Berserk looking DLC quality amazing. As you can see, I have my DLC fully installed. They have all of their moves and everything, which is great. We have Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, Roy Brian. Perfect. Beautiful. That is what I like to see. So I'm going to go ahead and I guess just for now do a quick little match just to make sure that everything did install properly. Um, real quick, I do want to apologize if it's kind of like weird, like, I don't know, glitching, lagging kind of right now because I have like 15 different things open in order to showcase this. Usually I normally don't showcase my entire desktop whenever I'm recording, so sometimes it can look a little bit weird. But as you can see, she's looking pretty good. It works pretty good in my opinion. Uh, I guess we'll try out... The gigantic rage real quick just to see everything boom yeah vegeta yeah get wrecked homie you getting destroyed uh as you can see everything's working properly my no hud is perfect and it's working great all my mods are working just flawlessly and that's what i like to see man that's what i like to see so hopefully this was an informative video if you guys have any questions or concerns definitely let me know down below but for now i'm gonna go ahead and close out of this real quick and I'm going to show you guys what I mean by verifying the game cache and treasury, okay? So, um, if you do have mods and everything, I know I just said to stay offline, but if you do have any issues, make sure that you do go online for this. I'm not going to go online right now because I don't need to because everything worked for me, but uh, go online before you verify it. So, what you do is you right-click and you go into Properties, and then you want to go into Local Files. So, right here, it's going to say Verify Integrity of Game Files. So you're going to go ahead and accept that and say yes. Uh, it won't work because I'm offline right now because it has to be online to you know, validate those files and reacquire them from the online source. But um, it should load up. If it shows 1% for a while, just give it time. Be patient with it. But basically, that's all you have to do. Close that out whenever it's done. Uh, go back into your uh, XV2 INS installer or whatever, and then uh, you know, you'll be good to go there. As you can see, I only have one mod installed, but obviously I'm going to change that. I'm going to install a ton of mods whenever I can. But um, yes, thank you again for watching, and thank you again to Eternity for um, fixing all this. Hopefully this solved any previous issues people had with installing mods. Again, if you do have questions, please comment down below. I'm going to try my best to get to you in a timely manner. Uh, I get, like, you know thousands of comments a day on a daily basis so it's hard for me to always respond to every single one of them but i do spend a couple of hours every day reading through and responding to them so um, definitely if anything you can count on me for that but uh, other than that there it is ultra pack one dlc pack nine post patch with mods fully working today so um just best of luck with it and have a great day thanks again for watching be sure to subscribe if you like this content and want to keep on seeing more and uh if you you know need help with anything so have a great day. Stay safe and um, blessed. <laughs> See you guys. Peace.